Happy Friday! We are back for another super long event day. Um, not in as bad of a mood as I was last week, but I'm, I'm very tired. I did not sleep a whole lot last night, which is a bummer because we have some fun stuff today. Um, but you never know. I feel like some days the some sometimes the days that I feel the worst actually end up being the best training sessions. I don't know. It's like my body goes into survival mode or something. Um, but looking at the program right now, I haven't looked at it yet. So going through for the first time, looks like we started with bag throws again, um, as expected, back down to our lighter bag throw day, bag throw, circus dumbbell, light technique work on that. Uh, we have a one rep max log, um, which I really hope goes well. I would love to hit a, a rep on the Slater log today, if possible. Um, not ideal coming into that after a night of basically no sleep, because that thing is about 250 pounds empty. Um, would really love to hit that today, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how the body's feeling and how things are moving. Um, but then after that, we go on to a bunch of the stone work. Uh, no stone pressing today, it looks like. Um, unlike last week, we're doing some stone loading instead of the pressing this week. That might change. Um, we'll see as we go. It might change since the, our stone press weight is a little bit heavier. We'll see if we want to do some more work on that. But um, as of right now, that's not in the program. Uh, and then we have some grip work after that, which might also change because we had talked about just letting my hands rest now until the show. So that might also be subbed out for something else. Unsure. And then hopefully today we can end with the deadlift that we skipped last week because we were hurting. So um, another long day, feeling a little bit more mentally ready to tackle it today than last week. Um, but still, it's, it's going to be a long one. So. I'm going to get warmed up. I'll see you outside for some bag throws and uh, we'll, we'll get this ball rolling. Love it, love it. Yeah, nice. Brilliant. You like that? So kind of lazy. Oh, it's looking good. Check your feet. I don't know. I'm just warming up. I don't know. All right, so we're back to our lighter bag throw day for max height. We're working with 25 pounds. Um, also a fun thing that we've realized is that it doesn't actually say anywhere in the rules that this is a single arm throw. Nope. Uh, we're just assuming based on the weight and the name of the event. Yep. Being David Webster, Come I would through. assume it's a Highland Games event. Mm -hmm. um, but we have seen equal numbers of people training single arm and double arm bag throws. Yeah, So nothing makes sense. So nobody knows, but we're going to keep training single arm for the most part because it's the less familiar technique. Um, and then we'll figure it out on the day, I guess, if it's double arm throw because that's not that hard. But yeah, <laughs> sick, <laughs> sick. Uh, so yeah, so we're sticking with, I don't know, maybe we'll do both today. But we're working with 25 pounds, max height. That was some, some feet. I don't know how high that was. <sighs> There we go. Oh, great 16 and a half 16 feet. And a half. Yep. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah, bracing helps. Oh, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Stupid. That's so recording. Not for me. She's one. Oh. All right, so it's feeling pretty good. Um, note that I've made for myself is I was noticing watching back on my bag throws from last week, the ones where I was exhaling on the backswing were not as good, which makes sense because I'm not bracing then. So I'm really trying to be mindful of that today. It doesn't feel intuitive, but taking a breath before the backswing, holding it and actually bracing through the throw, mind blown actually helps. Bracing things. helps? Bracing helps. Weird. Strange, so um, that was 16 and a half. Going up to 17. Yeah. Sticking with just single arm today. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's so high. That's so far up there. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Come on, Aaron. Counts. Points. 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 Huh? Now use your incredible athleticism to jump up there and get that bag. 
So here's what you don't see from Aaron. She's actually a great athlete. This is great. <laughs> this is great. Okay, let's. I gotta help. I gotta help the kids out here. So. Okay, so we got the bag back. Um, our post doesn't go any higher than that, though. So we're going up to 28 pounds, which is yeah. contest weight, um, still 17 feet. Like if that was like the point of the event was for you to just barely touch the top, like perfectly, like, that'd be cool. Easy peasy. Done so? Yeah. That it? That's it? Alright. Just max height today. You cool. did it. Alright. Moving on. Okay, so we just got done with dumbbell. I did not film that because it wasn't very exciting today. Um, just had some technique work, uh, dip holds, so nothing fun to watch. But we are on to log, which hopefully will be exciting because we have a one rep max today. Um, my best ever is 240. I would love to hit more than that. I would also love to be going into the session a little bit more rested and fueled and recovered. Um, I'm a little sleepy, but that's okay. Um, I am feeling strong, so hopeful that we can get over 240 because if we can get over that, then we will bring out the Slater log, which is 250 empty, um, but it would be really great to at least feel that log since we are going to be using a Slater at the contest. So that's the goal for the day. We're still warming up. We're at about 150 right now. We'll probably just transition to singles here pretty soon and um, see what we got today. Come on, buddy. All right, so our last single that we just hit was 222. Uh, felt mostly good, except for the fact that I forgot to put chalk on and it was very slippery. So um, we're up to 242, which would be a PR. Um, hoping that this moves easily so that we can go heavier afterwards. Give it your all. I got you. Come on, focus. You're good now. Come on. Let's go. Yep. Fine. Yeah. Down. Easy. First time in your whole career I've ever seen, I've ever seen you struggle on a clean. Your hands are in the right spot. Your hands are in the right spot. Well, that was an easy save. Good job. So that um, weight felt good. I fucked up. Uh, my hands were in the completely wrong spot, which is why my clean was terrible. And uh, the press almost snapped my wrist back. But i um, super happy with that. I feel like I moved well. Um, I just didn't do my job uh, the best that I could have. But I think that's a good sign. I think we will try this later. Uh, what do you think? We're either going to the Slater so. or, we'll, or we will go 252 here and then go to the Slater. All right, well, we'll go figure it out and let you know. <laughs> Oh wait, we got the Slater out, and it's so big. <laughs> it's so big. Um, Not so much in the diameter in the middle, though. It's so long. So it's, it's gonna feel tippy. We um, are probably just gonna do a clean real quick and see how that feels, um, and then evaluate. Two hundred and forty-eight pounds. Slater log, men's. Come on, Aaron. Let's go. Turn it on, bud. You gotta want it. Come on. Big drive, bud. 
Oh, he's so close. He's so close. Round two. Push, push, push. Oh, it's so it's very close. It's forward. It's, it, it's obviously different. But what's happening, your hands are here, right? It's not a small log, it's not there anymore. It's here. So the initial drive has to be heaved back. And then if you're still there, you're still here, you're, you're flipping, you press out, right? But it's just right now, you're getting the height or you're stopping there, and you can't press out in front of you right there. It's too heavy. <laughs> Good. Alright, well that was pretty cool. Super thrilled with that. Um, honestly, the weight did not feel that hard at all. Um, the log is just so awkward. It's so big. And what I'm noticing is very like tippy and my forearms hurt so bad from having to stabilize it, especially like on the clean and even the press itself. Um, the balance is just really hard, but the weight felt great. Really happy with that. Thrilled. Done with log. Um, I think we're off to some stones now. Um, stone loads and shouldering, I think. All right, we're on to stones. Um, starting with some loading, we have three doubles. Um, just kind of due to the weight options that we have on stones, we're going to be working with the 250, which is heavier than the one we're going to be using a contest, which, which is 220. But um, this is the one I was shouldering last week. So in theory, loading it should be pretty easy. Easy. Um, but shooting for three doubles here. I have stone to shoulder programmed after that. We might skip that. My back is bugging a little bit. And any time we do that like offset load, um, it, it really makes that worse. So last week, I wasn't able to do my deadlifts at the end because of that. Today, we might change things up, skip the shouldering so that we can get the deadlifts. We'll see how I feel after doing this, but three doubles here first with um, just the load. All right, that first set was kind of shit. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was kind of shit, but that's okay. I was just, I was figuring it out. We're just figuring it out. Figuring it out together. I am stuck. You're fine. You're doing just fine. It's also 30 pounds over comp weight, so it's fine. <laughs> Channel my inner AJ and one motion it. 
I'll give you a dollar. Only one dollar. Good. Plug in and just stand. Push. Good. Good job. It's the last set of uh, our very unwieldy natural stone load to roughly 42 to 44 inches. It's it's very taxing, which is pain wise. It's not the athlete, generally speaking, especially with stones like this. It's a pretty it's a rude stone as I describe it. Uh, but ultimately. It is 20-ish pounds over comp weight, 30 pounds over comp weight, and it should translate quite well. No shouldering today, save the body. We'll do it in the middle of next week, and that'll be the last time she does that as well. Um, at the end of the day, is a middleweight athlete in an open show, so the recovery methods have to be a bit more demanding than athletes who are in the open, who could do things a little, a little closer to the show. But uh, yeah, let's get strong, let's see it. This is the best one. Best one? Yep. Okay. Good, good. You're good there. Watch those. Good. Left up. Push. Still better than the other ones. Good. All right, you're done. How do you feel? Uh, I feel okay. I tried to go too fast in the last one, and it just slipped, and I heard a couple things, but that's good. That's it. That's it. That's it. All right, well, that's a wrap on today. Uh, pretty happy with everything that we did. A um, couple changes at the end. We did skip the, the shouldering. And taking a gamble, we're gonna take out the last like heavy frame holds that we had written in. Um, went back and forth about it a lot, but my gut is telling me that a little bit extra recovery is going to be better. Anecdotally, some of my best grip um, performances have been after periods of time that I wasn't doing a whole lot of grip. So my gut feeling is that more rest and recovery is gonna help. I don't know, that could be wrong. We'll find out, um, but we're gonna skip that. Go on to deadlifts. Um, gonna leave you guys there, uh, finish off accessories on my own, but I will see you back um, for the start of week three.